welcome to my house. Buck here. And we're back. I took a little hacienda there after the St. Patty's Day event. But we're back. We're ready to go at it. I did a little bit of fishing on Sunday night. We got prepped up for this here next set of missions that we're going to tackle um, in frumpy buckle land. And guys, remember about try to hit the Discord server up. If you guys are Discord members, there's a lot going on there at the Discord. I stream mostly every night. Um, we got a lot going on over there. So you just look up Frumpy Buckle on the Discord server. Got some open invitations there. We're still private until we get enough members over there. So come join us. We have a lot of fun over there. But we got all of our exploring missions done. So what are we going to do next? Well, we're going to do these mastering missions. <clears throat> and these are going to be a lot of fun, actually, because... We get to travel to different waterways to complete these missions. So they're they're a little more costly to do these missions, where the other ones were, you, you know, as you leveled up, you went to each waterway and did your missions while you were there. Now, this is like the first one. We're going to be at Emerald. We're going to be at Naharan and at Rocky. Um, but these are low level. And as the mastering, they start off very low level, and they slowly progress up to the higher waterways to master different types of fish. So it's kind of cool there. We can progressively go up along it. I managed to somehow accidentally complete one of the missions in the last year just doing the exploring missions. So I got the, I got the, uh, there's a drum mission in there. Let's jump over there. Let me get this thing up online over there. Yeah, we look pretty good there. We can transition over there. All right, let's go look at the missions. Okay, so uh, that's basically all I have left are some couple of fish monsters in the collecting and those collecting ones you I mean if we get the masters all done and I still have some of this collecting to do uh, then we'll go after them too but you get these completed as you move along and you just complete missions and do that you're also going to complete these master these collecting ones and you guys probably you probably have quite a few of these already um, I know I have quite quite a bit of them, but we haven't we haven't finished them. We still got one, two, three, four of them left to, to do. But anyway, back to the mastering here. So this whole section on mastering are kind of cool. So <clears throat> if you look at this first one here, you need to catch a one pound black crappie, and that yes sir, that is a trophy specimen. So most anglers pair float tackle, and that's how we fish for them in the missions. I use the live, and this is really nice because. You, these guys, if you do these mastering missions, if you look down across here, there's nothing with live bait. It's all lures, except for now we got leeches bait. What's this one? All right, this one here is equipped leeches bait. And I happen to have leeches on, on one of my poles at the moment. So that I was at Emerald fishing for uh, walleye. <clears throat> but there's a mouse sore. So, now this one here is uh, rod and boilies. Okay, so we got some boilies there. So it looks like we got two of them that we're gonna actually use live bait for and everything else is our, but here's the cool thing that you get out of these mastering things. You get good, every everything in here, you're getting a good, you're getting a lure, you're getting something sweet, a hat, a bobber. Like this first one here, for you young guys that are, that are doing this, and you don't have to be a high level to complete this black crappy one here. You get a trophy casting spoon, three quarter ounce right there, some trophy braid. You, you actually get better stuff doing these missions than you do for any of the stuff. This one there's a trophy popper. You know, you get the trophy single spoon. There's a trophy bass jig. What do we get here? There's, oh, the bass boss cap. Sweet. That's had I had known this ahead of time, fellas. <laughs> There's a bullet spinner. There's another hat. Wait. Trophy walker. Medium spoon. Another hat. Oh, Buck. Another hat. Trophy mouse floor. This is it, fellas. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. This will <clears throat> take us through the next couple of months. We'll be attacking this. So, as you look, here's the first one out of the gate: black crappy tube jig. All right, Bucks. He's got, he's got. I'm equipped with the 
jig head number one and a tube jig bait. All right, I've already been to Emerald and I got one up there already. So I know where he's at already. We're gonna start this. I'm gonna go back to Emerald and uh, I'm gonna fish for another one. I'm gonna catch another one. We're gonna start this from the beginning. Um, so that's how we're gonna start this mission. Let's go over and take a look at what Buck's taking with him for, on this. And as far as, you know, we're going to Emerald. All right, guys, please, no bass boats, okay? We're going to Emerald for God's sakes. All right, now, what do we got here? The Knight Feather Advanced Edition. He's a 10 pounder, okay? We got an expert slip. Now this came in the in the advanced pack when I was a young buck, first starting out, I bought that advanced pack. And I love this pole and I've used it all along. Okay, so then we're taking a Jig Winner 810 there with a Bremer 5000 on him. And we got the Patriot, uh, <coughs> Firework tube jig there from the 4th of July thing. And I've been throwing all these guys. I have them all in. Take a look at our... <clears throat> here, in the, here in the backpack. I mean, there's only four it, There's only four out there. So I brought all four colors. And uh, and then, of course, I got the fireworks one, too. Now, I've caught them on the fireworks. I've caught them on this pumpkin seed one. I haven't caught one yet on the white. Because these here died here at emerald in the afternoon so i was just i was just there fishing so i was fishing the water brown seed one real quick and the salt and pepper but you know my big guys weren't catching anything either and these guys didn't catch anything and it's like i think i was at four it was five o'clock in the afternoon or something but i fished a day there just to just to try it out see if there was any preference in the colors and i didn't seem to find any but right now i'm hitting them hard on the on the firework one and the pumpkin seed so we'll go back there we'll start off with i may even start off with just the white one in the morning because i noticed i was catching more of the more of the trophy bass in the morning and i was even fishing on other poles i did the sunday night show i really wasn't going after this we just did emerald i brought everybody up here to fish emerald for all the fish and i was catching trophy on crickets so they're in there, and we're gonna go back at them. All right, so there's our poles. There's everything there. <clears throat> we're going over to Emerald. Make sure you got a license. Go over to Emerald, and I will see you guys at Emerald. Okay, guys, we're here. We're gonna spawn in over here at the Midland Charm. We'll jump over to here. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're here. Oh boy, it's raining today. I should have looked at the forecast. Oh, we'll see how it goes in the rain. All right, guys, now, if you fished here at Emerald Lodge, or you watched my videos, you know that the black crappie, let's take a pole out here, Buck. Bring our poles out here. Now, them black crappie, you, you can just slay them right along, the, right along the edge over here, okay, with the crickets. That's my favorite thing with the black crappie there. And you can you can catch them over over off of this lily pad over in here. Now, with this tube jig bait, believe me, guys, I fished the hell out of this lily pad and didn't, didn't bring one up out of there. Okay, I fished all through here. Didn't 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 bring didn't bring a crappy up on this bait. However, right here in the middle, okay, just right here in the middle, you're gonna get. You're gonna get crappies here. However, everyone that I caught here is under a pound. I can't get a, can't get a trophy out of here on this on this jig. I haven't been able to yet. Now these these guys hit you, and I'm gonna show you. We, we probably won't even get one here, but I want to show you how I've been working this and how, what I found works best. And now th again, this is this is just me. So. <clears throat> All right, I let it drop to the bottom. Hit the bottom, and then I just, I'm, I'm slowly working on a one speed. That's it, barely getting it off, because you want you don't want it bouncing up too high. And these, these, these crappy hit very subtle. It's hardly, it's hardly hit, it's not a, it's not a big strike, it's not like when you're pitching. And that's what you don't want it to do. You get this thing bouncing like that, you, not what you want. So you're throwing out there. I'm throwing out there about 40 feet um, is where I was. I, been, I was catching them at. So 
got to hit to the bottom there and then just slow it. Just keep it kind of moving across the bottom with a stop and go. There, oh, we almost, we missed it. And that's just how subtle that bite was. He was picking that thing up, but again, you're only going to get, you're only going to see maybe one, one, one two bar, maybe a two bar register on this thing. See, we got we're in the tour we're back here at 12 foot and it's just too shallow for, for this bait there it is and you see how slow and just barely hit that thing and there we go, it's 0.6. Okay, that's one of the bigger ones that I've caught out of here, actually. Uh, normally it's right around 0 0.5, 581, somewhere right in there. And you'll catch them here, you will. Uh, but I'm not grabbing the trophies. But what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna jump in, jump in the old John boat over there. And I'm gonna go over there. We're gonna just tip across the lake there a little bit around, around that lily pad over there towards those rocks where the saugers are at. And uh, that's where I've caught three or four of these trophy guys over there. So, <clears throat> that being said, I'm gonna get over to the boat. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're here. And like I said, you can, on this lake, you know, a little boat like that, perfectly fine, or I, mean, I caught the pike slasher out of a kayak because I couldn't afford to rent the boat here when I was chasing those guys. So, and we're just gonna jump in here. Zip over there to the spot. This is just... I'm over in here, fellas. <clears throat> There's black crappie all the way down in this little. You can't even call it a little good, but it's just. Now you can fish. <clears throat> you pull black crappie out of all all along, all down, all down in here. You can throw all through here. And you pull them out on this jig too, but I wasn't getting the trophies there. Here's where I'm getting the trophies out, Paul, right out of here. Now we're raining here today, so I don't know how this is going to work. We'll see. right down in there the same technique I was using over there you know it's just one speed and you just barely you know you don't want him bouncing up too much you want him crawling across the bottom and just barely moving along and, you know and it's five o'clock in the morning now so we'll see if we do any better here About 18 feet deep here, 50 feet. So you, you get here as a, as a 20 foot marker, and you can play around here if you want to, but I don't. All right, guys, this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna throw out that hole. Shouldn't take too many casts. We'll see if we can yank one up. I'll be right back. Oh, fellas, we finally nabbed one up here. <clears throat> I don't think he's big enough. Nope, 0.5. And it's rain is making it tough, but <clears throat> we'll keep at it. Oh, oh we grabbed another one. I don't know if these are what we want. Nope. Another half pounder. We'll keep hammering at it. Oh, guys, we got one more here. I don't know. <clears throat> nope. 0.5. I don't know. This rain's killing us here. I might, might just fast forward here. I don't know. I've been trying down there in the back, all along this reed bed over here. Yep. The only place I'm pulling them out of is over here, but not very often. I don't know. 
Gotta be in rain. That's all I think of. I've, I've gone through every tube that I got. So, we'll see. We're gonna keep at it. We'll be back. Well, guys, it's 9 o'clock. We've got one more here. He's not big enough. Nope. Only four. Alright. Alright, guys. <clears throat> Finally. Day two. I had to fast forward. I went through the nighttime. Went through everything to get this guy. But we got him. 1.2 pounder. Just barely over the one pounder. But well, we got him and we can move on to. We're gonna move on to. Uh, oh, it shows up here Rocky to go to Rocky next and then the Herod. So, uh, I don't know which way we're gonna go first. But we got this marked. We can mark this off our list. We got our trophy. He's a one pounder. We nabbed him. And I didn't even get him. We'll keep this guy here. I didn't even get him over here. I fished that hole out. I got nothing but 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. I decided I was getting ready to give up on the whole thing. I threw over there. Right in the corner. As far back as you can throw, I turned it red, brought it out. Did it. So it was good. Threw it in there and grabbed him up. Now I did change, I did change my tube. If you look at the bait that we got going on here. Let's take a look at that real quick. I went with the pumpkin seed. I had been throwing, I had been throwing the Patriot, the Patriot one, the firework tube here, sorry, firework tube. I've been throwing the green pumpkin. I was throwing the salt and pepper watermelon and I went back to this. I originally started with this guy when I first started practicing with him and the firework too. And so I went back to him and he grabbed him up. So there's something to think about there. Alright guys, with that being said, let's do this. Okay, we're already sitting there. Buck all you gotta do is do that. Alright guys, well from here we're gonna either go to Rocky or Nahara. I haven't figured it out yet which one we're gonna go to. But this is the first stage done, and uh, we're going to head on out. And I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks for watching. Like so. Let's take a look over here. We're going to go to Rocky Lake. We need to catch a black crappy one pound or better. Okay? That, that's our next mission over there. And then our final one is going to be in there to get one of these guys. All right, so we're on our mission there. Let's go over to the globe here. All right, um, all right, thank you very much for that notification. We're gonna go over here to Rocky Lake. Now, I got an unlimited license over there in Colorado. So you need to pick that up. <clears throat> Make sure you got that. And uh, we're gonna head over to Rocky Lake. I'll see you guys over there. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are at Rocky. Um, there's two spots in here been to spawn in at. And um, either one of them, you know, uh, most of my crappie here are I, it doesn't matter which which spot in I go to, but they're they're over here along this bank in in this area over here. So I think I think what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to what they call the fern tastic fishing, and we're going to spawn in over there. And uh, here we are here. <clears throat> now where I like to catch my crappies is over in this area over here around this around this area right through here. Okay. Now I don't normally fish with a with this tube jig bait over here so we're going to see how it goes this is, but this is where i fish fish for the with you know the fresh bait and we're going to give her a whirl here we're going to toss her in over here and see if we can get a couple of crappies up here what do you think we all, all we need is one is the pound so we'll see how it goes here Oh, that's bouncing quite a bit off the bottom now, isn't it? Oh, there, oh, oh, that didn't take long for the first one, now did it? Oh, he's only a 0.6 pounder. All right, we'll keep him, but, well, we know where they're at now, don't we? All right, guys, we're going back in there again for another one. See if we can pull him out of here. I'll just keep hammering at this for a while. We'll see how it goes. I'll be right back. Well, we grabbed ourselves up first hand. 
first one here, top five. I moved over to this side, pause, wasn't getting anything on the other side, so come over here. I hit that already across the weeds right there. I already hit the front pad right there. I haven't hit anything, so I got a white bass out of here and this crappy out of here so far. This is, I've only cast two times in here, so we're gonna go at it in here for a little bit, see if we can grab one up. It'll be back. Now, oh, guys, <clears throat> we're getting up there. 621 on this one. Now, I <clears throat> I went crazy on this one. I actually threw this thing clear across the lake over in that corner. But I'm not getting anything around here. So we're going to go back in there and see if we can pull one pounder out. All right, we'll see what we can do here. Not too bad. Finally, fellas, we nabbed him here. Right at the bank, too. I've been fishing this lake left. I've fished every bit of it. Every damn bit of it. Fished every bit of it. Uh, I just moved back over here to this side. And I've been throwing basically just straight down along here. And I grabbed him up right, right here in the hornwork. Right in the middle of the hornwork. So... One more to go. We gotta travel to the Naharan. We got one more to go and we'll have this mission done. <clears throat> Alright, guys, let's see what we did here for today though. Not too that's it caught, caught quite a few crappy. I mean we got eleven fish all in all, black crappy. Now uh, some, some white bass in there though. Got a couple of white bass in there. Look, we landed him. Alright, guys. <clears throat> Next stop, Naharan. I'll see you there. Okay, guys, I'm here. Naharan, I made it, finally. <clears throat> I think what we'll do here probably is black crappie. There's uni white crappie over here, but the flow is going to be hard to work at jig from that side, from the right side down, because the flow goes that way. So I think, I think we're going to jump over here to the great parking job because we can walk around here and there's a lot of good crappy spots in, in this hole right in here. So, let's jump over there. Here we are. Alright, let's see. Well, actually, we'll, well, we'll start off right about here. We'll start off in here somewhere. Fish both sides of that. That horn word out there, that horn word patch. We can move this. We'll drive both sides of that. All right, guys, we're going to start right here. We need one here. This is where we're going to start. I think we'll start with the salt and pepper. And then I'm having most of my, most of my luck, though, on that, on that 4th of July one, the damn firework tube jig. And... That's you're in the hornwort buck. Oh, now you're really in the hornwort. All right, but yeah, most I've caught most of them on that uh, the pumpkin seed one and the fireworks one from the Fourth of July event. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna hammer at it here for a while. We'll see how long it takes us to nab this last one up. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab something here. I think this is a smallmouth bass, guys. Oh, I don't think it's a... Yep. Smallmouth bass. Oh, well. I'm just working my way around the... Around the... The little corner here. The cove here. Yep. Mainly just catching smallies at this point. But... We're going to keep running her. I'm running her just across the bottom. On a one speed. Just stop and go. As slow as I can. Just making a bounce. Teeter totter across the bottom. That's all. And that's the way I grabbed the rest of them there. Just. Every once in a while, I'll give it a little bump. It's one, if it doesn't want to teeter totter, I'll give it a little teeter totter. But that's all I'm doing. Every once in a while, I'll do a little lift and drop. Oh, we got our. We got hung up in the. Horn war. All right, fellas, we'll be back. Oh, guys, we nabbed him. 
1.144 trophy black graphy. We'll keep him. And there we go. Black Crappy 2JB. Wonderful catch. Good work. Take these rewards. Good deal. Ain't got that guy. Three coins, 3,500 bucks, and 1350 XP. That's worth it. Huh? What do you think? Alright, we'll claim our. We'll claim our trophy. We'll claim our. Trophy braid. Very good. Well, guys. What's next? Yes, sir. All right. What do we got next going? Let's take a look. The pipe hunt. Casting spoon. All right, what do we get for this? We get a trophy frog popper. All right. Mud water and a heron and emerald. We need to catch pickerel. Now here at Naharan, we need a red-fed pickerel. Oh. Hold back over here for you, fellas. Here and Aaron, red fin pickerel 1.5, so that's probably going to be a trophy. I'm pretty sure of that. Then we got mud water for a grass pickerel 1.3, emerald for a chain pickerel, and then at least we're using the casting spoon, so that'll be good. Then we got to catch somewhere along the way. This is going to be a uni something. 2.8 pounder. I'm pretty sure of that. So it looks like we're going to have to. That might be a big trophy. I don't know. That might be a uni. I don't know. Anyway, that'll be our next mission. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is our new series, Mastering. We're going to head down through them, and uh, there's quite a few there to put out. So we'll put a few videos out on this, that's for sure. This was kind of fun, actually. I liked it. Um, it was tough on Rocky. I had to go into two days with Rocky. This one here, I thought for sure that I would have caught way more crappy. That was the only one. <laughs> but you can see this firework. We landed, landed a couple of small mouth bass, a big large mouth. He was a nice fight on that little chick winner. That was that was a nice little fight there. He was only 1.1 pound, but still it was a nice little nice little fight. That bass fight. These small you fight pretty good too. Alright guys. We were only here what 757. Not quite three hours game time fishing. We napped him up. Alright. I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you got something out of this. At least you know you know where to hunt for these trophy crappy at in these three waterways anyway. Remember, never ever give up the fight. We'll see you later.